one, two. Okay. Wait, wait. What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Modeling. Can't talk today, so this is like the fifth take. Uh, we're making this uh, video for you guys, a little behind the scenes production with the drums for our new track, Lodestone, which will be released April 23rd. Um, save the date, share it, tell your friends. We're not going to go super in depth because there's a lot and there's a lot of layers, but I'll give you a little sneak peek of what they sound like and how I created them, where they came from. Also, um, at the end of this video, we're going to share with you guys a little teaser of the song and the drums in context after they've been edited and mixed and all that stuff. So a lot of these sounds that I created for this song were really inspired by um, a, a lot of things. A lot of movies, though, a lot of movie sounds. Like um, the main tone, overall tone of this track came from uh, the movie Only God Forgives, uh, the soundtrack of that. The, that. That vibe, that darkness in that movie and some of those like ominous sounding drums, you know, they're very like, they're kind of, they kind of have a tone to them. Of course they change. We wrote that song, we put that on an EP 2015 under a different name, which we, we were never happy with that track in the first place. So we kind of dived back into it a little bit because we had a better, a clearer idea of what we wanted to do. So everything is about films for us, for me, and like sounds and stuff like that. The new Blade Runner was a huge influence on some of these sounds, uh, the movie it follows. I mean, I'll just start with the beginning drums. I'll go into a little bit of that. Um, what I used is everything you see right here. Um, Dave Smith Tempest, analog drum machine, a Moog Sub 37 CV. Um, and then I actually used some of the samples on this Roland SPD SX. Um, layering is a big thing I did in this track. You know, nothing ever sounded good going into the DAW, you know, by itself. I had to do so much layering and layering and layering. I probably did too much, honestly. I actually don't remember a lot of the things that I did because whenever I start working, I get in this flow and I just keep going. I keep hearing things in my head and I keep inserting things until it sounds right. I, I like to add things and then take away later. That's how I work. So the, the big kick at the beginning of the song and throughout the first half is made of multiple layers, okay? So for example, great. <laughs> Fucking great. One of the layers is this kick I made on here through a self-oscillating filter. Okay, it's just very simple. And this is kind of gives it the punch, right? So like the top end of the cinematic kick drum it really comes from this Dave Smith. I created a kick on here. Just sounds like that. So I mean, for, you know, if you don't do any mixing editing, you got these two sounds. You know, sounds not, not that good. Um, and then the big boom effect, the big boom effect that you're getting is coming from a uh, Spitfire uh, VST. What I use is this HZO oh, Hans Zimmer percussion, you know, and I just use the low hits, something in there, okay? I'm like, I don't, I don't need to show you guys all that crap. Mix all those together, add some, you know, distortion, compression. It kind of created a sound like this. Okay, and there's also some like top end noise I added. I added some like, I just made some noise on here. Just like some rise and it's on top, it gives it some more bite. And this was really inspired by It Follows. During that beat, there's a bunch of other stuff going on. There's like a hi hat and like a, a trash snare or like a noise snare, it's, um, something like that. This original beat was uh, taking from taken from this beat I made in the Tempest. I mean, so, you know, it doesn't sound very good, but this is what we used for live performances for this song. We used to play this and I would play this literal beat. Yeah, I just took that idea and I just tried to enhance that sound. So I took the hi-hats out of that and I made them on here. This is, um, and what I did was I just basically messed with the decay of the amp throughout the song to get what I wanted. Yeah, you guys get the point. I also layered it with this original beat. Like there's a lot of the original beat. You guys hear that? That right there, I layered it with this. Okay, because I like the, the little hit, the little top and sizzle that it gave it. The snare actually came from here. I actually took the snare from this beat. I'll mute it actually, single it out. 
Okay, so I actually took this and I recorded it and then I messed with it, edited it. Uh, it's in C. I made sure it was in the, the tuning of the song. Um, same, with, same with the kicks. So now I'm gonna show you what these all kind of sound in context. This took so long to get it to sound right. So much editing, so much mixing, so much layering, so many plugins, so much processing. None, none of this, you can't just throw this stuff in there and it sound good. But uh, yeah, it just took me a long time to get something that I liked. And this is what it sounds like. And then the, of course there's a bunch of like noise risers and like noise crashes and stuff like that, which, you know, I don't need to explain. I mean, a lot of you guys know what that stuff is, but I just, yeah, I made it all on here. I didn't do anything in the box, except when I got to the second half of the song, I used some stock samples because I just couldn't get the sound I wanted in my head from these. So a lot of experimentation, a lot of, a lot of the sounds were also helped by my brothers, Quinn and Connor. They really helped, you know, if I couldn't figure out what I wanted, I would ask them. One last thing. Um, this is an added uh, percussive element that we kind of did a little last minute. I, I was hearing it in my head whenever we would play the song live and I, I think it came from the Terminator soundtrack. Actually, I know it did. It definitely did. It 100% did. Um, but it was a subconscious thought, you know? I saw that movie whenever I was probably five or something. My dad showed it to me and I thought it was so cool. But uh, everything yeah. after that was really terrible. Terminator 2 was good. So what I would do is I would, I would, I took this, I made up my own little rhythmic part. I would just do that and then use the filter to, to build excitement. Sounds kind of weird actually, that's not what it sounds like in the recording. There's probably a bunch of crap I left out too, but it's okay. Those are effects, there's a lot of effects. So now we're gonna share with you um, a clip of Lodestone with all the drums I just talked about in context with the music, you know, after it had been edited, mixed, mastered. It took a long time to get these to sound the way that we wanted them to sound. But yeah, at the end of that whole process, I'm really happy with how they turned out. But thank you so much for pre-saving our song, Lodestone. Thank you for watching this video. The track will be released April 23rd, 2020. And we will be making more videos like this for the rest of the song and, and newer ones as well. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.